Welcome back to the channel. Uh, my today's project is working on a tripod stool that I usually use in my kitchen. This one here. It is a tripod stool that I bought at I think $2. That is 250 Kenyan shillings. I like to paint it using acrylic paints and a simple brush to give it a new outlook and also I think I can consider it for decorative purposes. So, karibu. For this paint job, I'm going to use what we call acrylic paints. These are simply auto paints, the kind of paints that you, you see used on vehicles. What is good about them is that they are fast drying and then that makes it very simple for me to use. They also come in these smaller packages because I buy them in downtown in Kisumu, somewhere called Kamas. So they measure them according to the amounts that I want and then I can get uh, different shades because they can easily mix them to whatever final hue that you want. And then for the paint brushes, I'm using what we call artist's brush. Some of these come in uh, synthetic and non-synthetic forms. Like these ones are non-synthetic because the tips are made out of sisal. So there are varieties in the market. You can choose what fits your description. Then of course there's thinner. <coughs> I'm now finishing up. It is coming out rather very nice. So like I told you earlier, this one dries very fast. I just want to check if it is dry enough. Of course it is dry. Usually it takes between 15 to 30 minutes and you are good to go. So now it is just a matter of untying it from here. And then I find for it a good spot in the house. So it is simply graduating from the kitchen and we need to find a replacement. And there it is. There it is. I think it is lovely. I do not know what you think about this small project. But uh, personally, I think it has come out really nice. I think it deserves a standing ovation. I'm actually standing and I think it deserves a song. Isn't it lovely? Isn't it lovely? Isn't it lovely? Then I throw pillow to complete the look if you don't want a very empty look. Thanks for watching.